Mickey says good morning, y'all. Okay, so this is a twist out from yesterday, um, day two. As you can see, it's gotten a lot fuller um, because my frizz said, let me free. And of course, the climate here, or should I say, the weather here in Oregon, rain, moisture, all that stuff, yeah. So anyway, um, this is supposed to be a get to know me video. You guys want to get to know me. This is me with just lipstick. Mm hmm This is me. Uh, see those scars? I'm 41, you guys. And for some reason at 40, my skin said, <laughs> I know you had clear skin your whole life, but guess what? We got a surprise for you. So, yeah, this is me. You want to know something else about me? Something that us naturals can't stand. And because of the mistakes of our past, this is what happens. I'm keeping it real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In case you're blind, this is called no edges. Yeah, the rest of this hair might look nice, but because of the mistakes of the past, I don't got no edges. Uh, I think it's what they say. Um, what is it? Alopecia tension. Alopecia. So I was one of those ones where you know I do everything myself. Now. Some things should be left to the professionals, but me being me, I've done my whole hair, skin, any maintaining of myself, myself. So, when it came to braids, those singles, when singles came out, everybody wanted singles, and yes, I used to braid hair too, so I was doing everybody's singles too. Guess what? I was the one, because I did my own hair, I'm like, you know what? When that new growth started coming out, I knew I was capable of going ahead and tightening up my edges so my edges were always nice and neat. So what did I do? I tightened them up all right. Tightened them up right on out my scalp. Mm -hmm. Those hair follicles said bye-bye. And because of that, this has been pretty much permanent damage. Now, I know there's ways to work around it. I'm going to try to find out. And I'm going to take you guys through that journey because I want my edges back. Now, I did go to Ulta, I know, in my last video. Hmm. When you get a text message while you're trying to film. Hold on, you guys. Okay, it's gone. Anyway, so, in my last video, I said I went to... Uh, Lux Bullet Beauty Supply. It wasn't Lux, you guys. Lux is, I don't even know if it's even in Gresham, Oregon. It was actually Ulta. So I'm sorry, Ulta. If anybody from Ulta sees this or the person that sold me products there, what was his name? Jet, as he said, as the play. Sorry. Didn't mean to do you guys like that. I do like your store. I'm just new to this and everything I say is not going to be perfect. If I find out I make a mistake, I'm going to go backwards and correct it. Anyway. So, I went there on um, previous uh, YouTube videos that I saw in the past when I was trying to look for help for, you know, my edgelessness. I noticed that there was something called Topic. Topic, you guys, for my poor behind, it's expensive. It was like $24.99. But, you know what, me trying to do something, I got it. I haven't tried it yet. I am going to try it. You guys let me know what you think of it. If you've had to use it. If you think I should just not try to even cover up the edges and just whatever. Okay. But I'll probably do a video about that. Anyway. This is me. YouTube said do a get to know me video. This is me. So. While we're talking about me. I'm going to go ahead and get my face somewhat together. Um, a few of the things I did get at Ulta. I got this. Uh. By Pure 
I don't know if you guys see this. It's called Balancing Act. Um, it's a shine control powder. This is for after I put on this. Can I see that at all? I hope you can. Okay, this is the Pure Hydra Fluid um, Water Serum Foundation. And I think everything I got is deep. Because you know what? This particular product line, I don't think it's made for the WOC, the women of color. Because if I'm considered deep, and I don't even have the, the, the deepest melanin, in my opinion, that's doing too much. But what I do like about this particular line, it says it is cruelty free. I like that. I like the sound of that. And you know, here in Oregon, we are the uh, state of... Why am I trying to say this? Everyone here is about recycling. They are about cruelty free products. They are about the environment. We are green as possible because what? We're surrounded by green. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to do this. Um, get this on my face. And I've, I've, I'm also noticing because I have all these dark spots, I need to start using more of something else. You guys see that? So, you know, all those makeup artists and everything on Instagram and the ones that I follow here on YouTube, they swear by this. So, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, corrector in orange. Now I'm still learning how to use this stuff. I'm still learning all that stuff because I, I love makeup you guys. I mean at age 13 I thought it was my life goal to become a cosmetologist. I loved hair. I was always up in my hair. And I love makeup. But back then you know it was um, the 80s, early 90s. This girl over here was wearing her fuchsia lip gloss and it was cute. And my blue eyeliner. Then I, you know, got a little bit more advanced and did some uh, mascara because, you know, everybody told me, oh, Lenny, you have some long eyelashes. Now, it may not look like it right now. I don't know if you guys see anything. But, you know, I've always been told I have long eyelashes or should I say curly eyelashes. So I wanted to showcase that. Why did they tell me all this stuff? I thought I was doing it back in the day. I was doing it but guess what this girl here had low self-esteem and you know I still have self-esteem issues right now so I'm not I'm not one of those youtubers that's all that got everything together got the money to get the products and everything I mean I'm doing this film right now on a Samsung phone that should tell you something I don't have the equipment I don't have the lighting I don't have the the uh, uh, the cameras the umbrella lights. I don't have any of that stuff. I'm a single mom, stay at home mom, right now currently on disability for stress and anxiety. Yes, your girl have panic attacks. So, part of the reason why I started doing this, and really the main reason why I started doing my blog, is because to me it was a form of my own personal care, my own self-care. Um, my hair, you know, I, it's something I love to do. It's something that seems to go right in my life. So, you know, I wanted to, you know, help others out. I see there's so many kids, you know, um, especially girls who need to start embracing their natural hair. Realize that you don't got to have that weave all the way down your back. No, you don't. Did the weave start out of your head? Did it grow from your head? Did God give it to you? No, he didn't. It's not necessary. Now, I know it's a protective style that a lot of people choose. But me, no, not at least not right now. I don't know. Maybe one of these days, if I get one that looks natural enough, maybe a big fro or something. Yeah. And not just 
because froze are the it thing. Only in a band doing froze. Like I said, I have done everything to my hair from braids and dreads to uh, the Halle Berry haircuts. Yes, I cut my hair, permed my hair, colored my hair. And I have braided other people's heads and cut other, well, my sister's hair. Um, color, no. Perm, yeah, I've done on her. But, you know, it was my thing. I loved it. I wanted to have a hair shop in my house. It was my dream, you guys, to have a hair shop in the basement of my house one day. That's what I wanted to do. And this was around the time I first got my first computer. I was 26. I wanted to do, I, it was my thing. I, I thought I was doing something. I made a little website with, you know, hairstyles uh, showing the braids I've done on other people, men and women and kids. Started getting, you know, uh, compliments from other states. Started looking to get my natural hair license. Um, in the state of Oregon, you had to go to hair school, which involved all kind of chemicals that I was interested in. So, Olena being broke, didn't have money for it. Number two, I didn't want to do chemicals. Mm -mm. That was back at 26. So that was my thing. I did people's hair, but you know what? The problem was it it um it hurts my hands, my fingers, my hands cramp. They do not feel good. I had to shake my hands. It was just not a good feeling. And after a while, I had to let a whole lot of people down. I mean a whole lot of people because if you're the type where you start doing people's hair for free, these so-called friends, and then you go to, oh, I'll charge you $20. Oh, that head of singles? Girl, I'll do it for free. But wait a minute, I'll charge you $20. Mm, we'll get up to $40. Now you guys know a head of singles, them little tiny braids, as long as you're standing there, they're... You know, twenty dollars, forty dollars, it's it's not worth it. You cheating yourself and I started realizing that. I started realizing I need to care for myself. And so I started telling people no. Yes, anyone who's watching this, everyone who I have done their heads before, I Olena couldn't do it no more. She wasn't gonna break her fingers down for everybody else's heads. Now yeah, I'm gonna continue to do my own because it's my own. But everybody else's no. So people were mad at me. Oh well. I had to I had to deal with it and we moved on so um, let's see about two years ago I started my Instagram account and I was thinking about pictures to share and you know you have your regular quotes and everything but I want to get more followers followers are only gonna follow people who are at least appear to be real on Instagram and me I don't believe in fake, fake in the funk I mean so I wanted to be real. I want to show you know, my followers part of me. So what did I do? I started taking pictures of my hairstyles and there it began. Then oh, jumping back to two years ago when I uh, began my leave. The first uh, short term disability and then long term disability for stress and anxiety. The girls having panic attacks, um, many different factors uh, made up that uh, my situation at the time stress is not my friend I don't think it's anybody's friend but it's really not Lena's friend so I started my Instagram back then in a way to make me feel better um, I don't know if anyone else is like that this is just me again everything I'm talking about is my personal opinion and it took me a while to figure out that my personal opinion my my situations were my testimony everybody you know doesn't believe in sharing everything I'm not sharing everything but I'm sharing things that I know other people go through and why do I know this is because of looking at YouTube looking at at Instagram realizing that other people are going through the same thing and then there's people who are going through the same thing who are keeping it all to themselves but it's breaking them down. They need someone to share it with. They need somebody. They need to hear it from other people that other people are going through the same thing. Because it helped me. So this is another reason why I'm doing this. Um. So anyway, this is me right now. I'm gonna get myself uh, together. At least get rid of some of these dark marks so I look a little bit better on camera. I look like I'm awake. Drink some coffee, and I'll be back.